Hey, what's up guys? Josh here. I'm here with Coach Katie and we're going to go over this week's simple and sinister -er workout. So for this workout, we're going to have six exercises. We're going to go 40 seconds of hard work, 20 seconds to switch. We're going to go through all six exercises four times and then we're done today. You ready, KK? Ready. Okay, so we're going to start with our suspension trainers and we're going to work our drag curls. So for this one, palms are turned up, loose squeeze tight. We got that moving plank position here. Now Katie's going to only flex through those elbows, squeezing those biceps, pull those hands towards her shoulders. Now, without letting her body fall down, she's going to drag those hands down her torso, down to her hips and then lower herself down and then curl back up, working those biceps and now she's working everything else here. Upper back, core, nice and controlled glutes are squeezed as she lowers herself back down here. So take your time on this one. This is a perfect one for simple and sinister because that 40 seconds allows you a lot of time to get some quality reps in here. Then from there, we're gonna go into our side lunges. So you can use the suspension trainer if you'd like, elbows at your ribs, step out to the side, keep that foot straight, sit your butt straight back, and then push up and over here. Then you can go to the other side. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is Katie's using that leg as a kickstand, her foot straight. She's not pushing her hips out past that foot. When she comes over to the other side, we're gonna show you a little bit closer here. Seth's gonna do his magic. Notice how her foot's straight. Her thigh stays in line. She's not pushing further out. She's not pushing that knee out. She's staying right there in line. She's not doing any of those things. Nada. And then she's gonna push back over. The suspension trainer's great for assistance. If you wanna go without the suspension trainer, you can go with that toe touch, drive up, just sit your butt back after you step out here. You can also do some sumo squats if that full side lunge is a little too much for you. Back and forth here. From there, we're gonna go down to the floor. We're gonna work our half kneeling, kettlebell overhead press. So Katie's gonna make sure her posture's right here, ear over shoulder, over hip, over knee. If you want, you can tuck that back foot under or you can keep it flat to really engage the hip here. She's gonna squeeze that right foot nice and tight. And now she's pressing overhead, walling up those abs. Notice how her shoulder is rotating as she presses up here. So at the front, her palm's neutral, and then it's rotated out. Squeeze that glute, push that air. Now you can switch halfway here, or you can do 40 seconds on one side and do the other side when you come back, but you're gonna get two sets in that way. That's the way I prefer to do it, but it's up to you. You can also use a dumbbell instead of a kettlebell as that weight's feeling too heavy, however you wanna adjust there. From there, we're coming over to our sliders and we're gonna do some slider bridges. So I'm gonna come to the other side, KK, so I can keep show here. <laughs> Laying on your back, drive those elbows in the floor, get your feet on those sliders. Katie's gonna drive those feet in toward her butt, drive those hips up, take them back down and out. You can also keep those hips up the entire time, off the floor, out, in, up, down, and out. You can also go with that power glute bridge where you go all the way down and then drive up and squeeze those glutes. This one is a lot of work for those hamstrings, so take your time with it and maybe just progress through the modifications as you're working that first set. You can also do this without the sliders and just do those glute bridges here. From there, we're coming up to our suspension trainer. We're gonna work that chest press. Lots of those in this workout this week. Knuckles turned down, up on the balls of your feet. Squeeze those shoulder blades, push that air out. Wall up those abs, ribs are tucked, glutes are squeezed tight. Don't go so low that you get locked out through your shoulders. You don't wanna feel like you're holding yourself up there or you don't feel like the suspension trainer is. You wanna feel like you're engaged the whole time. Working those muscles, deep breath in, push that air out. You can put one foot forward to lighten the load. You can also put both feet forward if you need to. Our last exercise of the day is our triple squats. Now you can start with the suspension trainer, elbows at those ribs. We go lunge, lunge, squat here. So it's two lunges, one on each leg, and then a squat, and you're just working through this. If you want to take it up a notch, you go lunge jump, lunge jump, squat jump. Really use the suspension trainers to pull you up so you can really get high here. You can also do those without the suspension trainer if you're feeling strong that day and then modify back to the suspension trainer as you're getting tired. Okay, that is our simple and sinister workout for this week. Yeah. Great job. Thanks. Thanks.